What is up, up Americans? Uh, I'm Irving. I'm Zach. I'm Ryan. <laughs> We're gonna start you off with some uh, rock news. I'm gonna stop speaking like a crazy Steel tongue. I know. <laughs> Steel Panther. Zach's guys are threatening to crash the wedding for Chaz, as they put it, and Avril. Chaz being Chad Kroger from Nickelback, your favorite band. <laughs> uh, apparently, in a uh, radio interview, Chad Kroger wanted Steel Panther to come play at his wedding. Doesn't seem like Avril's having it. Shocking. Welcome to marriage, my friend. Uh, something I found funny was uh, Chad was apparently lent his vocals on a song called It Won't Suck Itself. Uh, Think about what that's about. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents about what that means. A new album, though, for Steel Panther is hoping to be squirted out, as they put it, sometime in September. On Metallica, they're doing music festivals, they're doing movies, they're doing illustration books. Now they're getting involved in pinball. They're the slash of South Park, if you will. There are three different ones coming out, a limited edition the Pro Edition, and the Premium Edition. <laughs> and it includes 12 Metallica songs, which is pretty cool. Uh, David Draymond on his Facebook page, yet again, in all caps like he always does, uh, reiterating the fact that Disturbed will come out with another album at some point. Right now he's doing the device thing, but Disturbed is not done. He does this about every month. Apparently fans are just constantly on his dick about this. So, <laughs> David, thank you for, take, for having the patience and the time. The to... theme for this episode, dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to let all of us huge Disturb fans know that you are not going anywhere. Uh, as I talked about last week, Phil Anselmo wanted to get the band back together, that band being Pantera. Uh, Vinnie Paul says, fuck no. He has <laughs> no interest in reconnecting, and apparently there's a very sad video on VH1 Classic about Pantera, so we'll probably watch that afterward. Uh, Ozzy on the new Black Sabbath CD. The album is mind blowing. It's way better than his wildest dreams, even when he was on acid and other <laughs> fun drugs. Uh, the first single you can catch on an episode of CSI, which gives us all to finally to finally have a reason to watch that show. <laughs> yeah. Iron Maiden and Megadeth are doing a brief U.S. tour, September third through the thirteenth. There are seven dates. Uh, none around here. I think the closest one is in St. Louis, Missouri. Some in Tennessee. So, uh, yeah, if you want to make a road trip to St. Louis, it's a wonderful city. And uh, finally, well, actually a couple things. Rock on the Range released their headliners for the specific days, May 17th. Corn and Cheap Trick, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 18th, Smashing Pumpkins is your main headliner, which is disappointing. And, but, however, Stone Sour will be the band down before it. And the 19th, Flashback to the 90s grunge era, which was a great time. Soundgarden and Alice in Chains. And speaking of Alice in Chains, they were on Jimmy Kimmel. I give Jimmy Kimmel a lot of props. He's like the one guy that always has rock bands on. He before. does, yeah. He so, even has metal bands sometimes. Yeah, so Jimmy. Yeah. Rock on. Uh, they played Stone, Hollow, and Man of the Box, which sounded phenomenal. It's curious a question, though. Do yes. those TV hosts even have a say on who, who plays or even who's. I would assume I hope so. so. I would assume Jimmy's like, come on, let's get good shit on here. <laughs> yeah. So. If I was like, what up, I'd just be like, and like someone asked me, do you want to say like Lindsay Lohan on the show? Like, oh, fuck that. Yes, dude. I'm like, great no. stories. <laughs> yeah. Stupid yeah. cunt. Yeah. You should probably suck your dick afterward. Because it won't suck itself. Oh! <laughs> and with the great puns continuing, let's go to yeah. Zach for Metal News. <laughs> okay, Metal <laughs> News this week. The big news is Ghost's album was streaming live. Now, I don't know if. A lot of you people out there know Ghost is, which I hope isn't the case, <laughs> but um, Ghost, band from Sweden, they're like a satanic Blue Oyster Cult. If you don't know who Blue Oyster Cult is, I know they're not metal, but come on. <laughs> Anyways though, Ghost, um, recently, you know, they had the whole controversy going on with, oh, we have to be called Ghost BC now because someone already took the Ghost name. One of the nameless ghouls said they will never, ever, 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 that. ever be called Ghost BC and that they're working on getting that, taking, it, taking the BC part away. Oh, shit. So, their new album is streaming. It's awesome. Um, yeah, check it out. Otherwise, it comes out next Tuesday, 16th, I believe. Yes, yeah, so check that up. Check that out. Not up. Check it out. It's going to be awesome. Um, Arch Enemy had to cancel all of their European festival dates this summer due to private family. Okay. Um, Skeleton Witch 
awesome band entered studio to rec and are recording um, with I don't have that written down but <laughs> our recording and their new album will be out in the fall sometime and it'll be brutal <laughs> I'm sure um, also Kill Switch Engage album uh, just on with Descent if you haven't picked that up um, listen to it you know I'm sure they do that cause yeah it's the tits um, crack the top ten and they're going to be coming to the rave with Ezley Dying, also another great metal band. And I'm th pretty sure there's two, or at least one shitty other band on that bill. <laughs> um, Spiritual Beggars, um, crit er, yeah, Michael Lamott from Arch Enemy and the bass player from Arch Enemy, their side project, which is kind of like hard rock, 70s, psychedelic-ish. They also have the guitar player from, er, the guitar player, the keyboardist from Opeth. Um, they're released a new single off their album, Earth Blues. Um, the single's called Kingmaker. The album's also going to be out April 13th. Um, it's actually their eighth studio album, I think, I read. Which, yeah, it's quite the side project. Um, and lastly, finally, some good news for the Machine Head Camp. They are going to be today, Thursday, when we're recording. April 11th. April 11th. Uh, they started demoing new material, so... That's great, because, yeah, it's Machine Head and they rule. So, Irv, what do we got for new music? New music, oh, we got, uh... <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> Megadeth uh, revealed new album cover art and a snippet of the way I understood it was Don't Turn Your Back. Because it a... sound like Dave Mustaine is angry. Because <laughs> there's, like, a string of different titles, and then it just said, Turn Your Back, and then the last thing was, here's, a, like, a cut of it, but I don't know. So, I'll try and find it, and whatever the, the cut of the song, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be sure to link it. Deftones releasing a mu uh, lyric video for Swerve City. Rob Zombie releasing the video for uh, Dead City Radio and the New Gods of Supertown. In this moment, unleash their video for Adrenalize. Saucy. Yes. Saucy, to say the least. Women in tightly fit clothing. That reveals a lot. <laughs> I heard uh, Maria Brink was in Playboy, so we're gonna do. That's some... great news, but we need to do more research. Yeah, I heard it a while ago, and you know, never looked into it. Maybe we can get her on the show. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will look into those uh, Playboy pictures for you guys. Not for my. It's picture. all for you guys. It's all yeah. for you. I'll, uh, I'll I'll do some hard research, try and find those pictures. Hard and... research. Hard. <laughs> 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 uh, ten, ye ten years on that same day, releasing their uh, their video, which is like a a live video of different angles of each band member for the song "Dancing with the Dead." <laughs> Albums released uh, this week are Stone Sour's "House of Gold and Bones" Part Two, Volbeat releasing their album uh, "Drowning Pool," uh, their album "Resilience," and Device releasing their album. With uh, a couple of videos going up online of like camera phones and shit, with uh, the videos being uh, Vilify, Out of Line, two separate ones, and then a third video that has uh, three songs are uh, You Think You Know, Penance, and Out of Line. <coughs> nice. That was Out of Line. <laughs> all awesome, because Device is awesome. Good album, good album. And uh, for upcoming shows, uh, And for local news, we'll turn it over to Zach. Okay, for some local news, um, Erroneous um, expects some new material for them in a few weeks. They're awaiting a mix of, you know, their new songs or whatever. And, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you, so keep your ears open for that. Um, Vile Discouragement, CD release party, May 3rd at the Crunchy Frog, with some other great bands, but, you know, CD release party, so they're obviously the focus. Um... <laughs> April 25th, Exodus in Green Bay, Ground Zero Warhead, Macabre Evoked, Crater. Pick up your tickets. It's only a few weeks away, and it's it's going to be madness. So, and we'll be doing an interview with Evoked. Yeah. So if you haven't heard them, 
be sure to like go on their Facebook, listen to their tunes. They're pretty and awesome. Then, and then stay, t yeah, and then stay tuned for uh, their interview, which we'll, we'll link up whenever we uh, whenever we get a chance to do yeah. that. Yeah, we got two weeks. A couple yeah. weeks. weeks. Yeah. Um, also, a um, little bit, um, I guess, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but Enabler from Milwaukee, not from Green Bay, <laughs> but still kind of local, um, their EP Shift of Redemption is officially out, so I'll uh, pick that up, support the Wisconsin scene, you know. And this past weekend, all three of us and friend Nate attended Seven Dust, and Lacuna Coil and Coal Chamber at the Rave. <laughs> so, drop my pen. <laughs> so that was, uh, I'm not trying to, you know, suck you off or anything. Oh, because, you know, oh. It won't suck itself. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was, a, that was a pretty great show. We got, actually, a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, what did you get? <laughs> well, I guess I'll start down the line. Oh, uh, I got about, I think it was two picks. No, I got three picks from Seven Dust, a pick from uh, Coal Chamber. Handed to you. Yeah, he handed me a pick, which was really cool because he actually has like grip tape on both sides of the yeah. pick. So that shit wasn't going to come out of his hand unless he gave it to me. And then uh, a pick from Lakuna Coil. I got this wristband, the shirt. Did you get a set list? I got two set lists. <laughs> um, one for Lakuna Coil and one for Seven Dust before Seven Dust. At even played. Guys I, ripped it off the stage. I guess, yeah, they just accidentally taped it before and, like, just wrong, wrong set list, so they threw it out and I got it. And then, was that it? I think that was it. Zach, what did you get? I got a pick from Lakuta Coil handed to me. <laughs> um, one of their set lists. Um, three picks from Seven Dust and Morgan Rose, drawer from Seven Dust, got his towel. And what did you do with that towel? Nothing that. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he rubbed it on his nuts. I didn't. <laughs> right? I got... I only got one thing. It was very special. If you are Italian out there, and you take an Italian flag to a Lacuna Coil show, and you get front row, like we did... Yeah, we did mention that. We were front row the whole oh, yeah, night. That was cool. fucking awesome. That's how we got all this shit. Yeah. You will get your own point out <laughs> from, the guitar, from the guitar players... Point to you and then toss you a guitar pick. You will make eye contact with Christina Scabia, which if you're a man, you will then get an erection. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get <laughs> yes uh, through the yeah. gate. <laughs> so had my Italian flag with me. Andrea, Christina, both saw me. Pointed at me with the Italian flag. You know, got both on the wave and everything. So it's pretty awesome from fellow Italians who I idolize. So it was pretty fucking phenomenal. It was a great night. It was, it was a nice little Saturday. Another thing I almost got was I almost got into a fight because people are fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> I almost got punched Just in the head. Stupid. Except yeah. the dude didn't realize I was standing off on the side and I probably would have grabbed he was, his he arm. Was, he was smaller than I was and just yelling and thought he was all tough. But he was not wearing a shirt, which proves that he's tough. Oh, is that the guy with the tribal tattoo yes. on his arm? I don't know. He just started, he, I was talking to the girl that was being a bitch and then he started <laughs> yelling at me behind me. I kind of laughed in his face a little bit and just turned around. I didn't even like really pay attention to him. But yeah, if you go to concerts, don't be fucking, don't be a fucking asshole. Be stupid. Yeah. The people who got front row obviously got there early and played that. Yeah. <laughs> but we digress. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, question of the week this week was, uh, what are some of your favorite uh, like unplugged songs? You know. Like acoustic stuff of original versions that are heavy or just slower songs in general. Yeah. Um. So this is my question that I came up with. So I guess I could start. You could start. The entire Godsmack the other side EP, which I think consists of like six or seven um, other like greatest greater hit songs that just are like acoustic and shit. That and then the memory remains their cover of the Metallica song. Which is all on piano, and I, that's fucking, it's just phenomenal. Um, Korn's got the life and blind that they did for the MTV Unplugged as well. And Avatar's Smells Like a Freak Show that they just did like a couple weeks, I don't even think it was a couple weeks ago, like. That's pretty recent, yeah. Yeah, within like the last week, definitely less than two weeks. Um, what they did for 95 Will Rock, uh, the radio station down in, I think it's Kenosha, if not it's like. Kenosha, Chicago. Kenosha. Yeah. 
Uh, and you also have one over there. Banners. I have. Yeah, one. I was trying to That's look. It's right you, over there. <laughs> I have quite a bit of their stuff. Like, there's that small one. Then I took the one that. Oh, that was another thing I got. Yeah, you got show. that at the show. Was another Will Rock fucking uh, little plastic yeah. banner that they have. Uh, Zach, what are what are some of yours? Um, I got yeah. Square Nothing by In Flames. These are all like just kind of slower songs than necessarily acoustic. And I limited myself completely to just newer metal bands because if we start getting into 80s metal and classic rock, I'm just going to have a list. We'll like, be here all Yeah, night. we'll be here all night. No one wants that. Um, so Square Nothing by In Flames, um, Tibet and In the Pale Moonlight by Christopher Mott, his solo stuff, Another Hero Lost by Shadows Fall, and In the Woods by The Ghost Brigade. In the Woods. Only a few people get that inside joke. but. Yeah, I didn't get it, so yeah. don't feel bad if you didn't. <laughs> uh, Ryan? I'm not a big acoustic guy, but there are a few that I like. Uh, Stain's version of Outside, and then, well, their version. Stain's song Outside, not their version. Um, and then got to see Chris Cornell do Like a Stone acoustic back in the summer of 2008 at the Project Revolution uh, tour. Pretty phenomenal. Great sound. That's all I got. It's just those two. I'm not really a big acoustic guy. But well, uh, I like the question. <laughs> Tell us your favorite acoustic songs or slower songs. Or give us a question to answer. We're running out of ideas. Or suck dicks. The show's just about dicks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, at least. <laughs> so, speaking, well, then. <laughs> speaking of dicks, that just about brings us to the end of our show. <laughs> I thought we were going another route, but. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for we we got some birthdays this week. Um, <laughs> These people are not dicks. Well, suck their dicks. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> they deserve it. Oh, it's another laughing hysteria. Uh, Bader James Keenan, his birthday is on the 17th. He, You will know him from uh, Pussifer and Tool <laughs> and, and a Perfect Circle. And he makes wine. Yeah, that too. Ah. And uh, as Zach mentioned, had mentioned the band Opeth earlier, their singer, uh, I'm just going to Americanize this, I guess, Michael Ackerfeld. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> His yeah. birthday is also on the 17th. So happy birthday to those. Oh, shit, I'm running out. Happy, uh, birthday, to, hey. happy birthday to those guys. Hey, hasta right, luego. Keep it metal. Dick.